Hello everyone, today I am going to give you seven reasons why it is so hard to lose belly fat, which is an important fat that leads to diabetes. That's why you're in the diabetes channel, but this channel is not only about diabetes, we talk about weight loss, metabolism, and so forth. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin, I'm an endocrinologist, a metabolism expert, and a diabetes specialist. So let's dive into why it is so freaking hard to lose this damn belly fat. Now, number one, the belly fat is actually a hormonal gland. Yeah, you heard it right. It is actually the fat cells in our body, especially the belly fat, the visceral fat, we call this, which is the fat around your organs that are pushing out from your belly. The visceral fat actually works like a hormonal gland. They secrete a lot of enzymes and cytokines and proteins that actually creates insulin resistance. They actually protect themselves, especially in that area where you are doing everything you can, but that belly fat, once you develop that fat, well, it will go, but I'll tell you that. But it is very hard to remove that fat because it is protecting itself with a lot of cytokines. So the best way to avoid or best way to prevent that problem would be not to gain belly fat. We'll talk about that in a second, but I'm telling you that the belly fat is a hormonal gland that protects itself, that's number one. Number two, well, we all kind of like the sweets and the alcohol, right? So the social gatherings, you know, the parties, you know, the birthdays, and um, this day, that day, you know, all sorts of holidays. We are always subject to, you know, making this hard decision about eating, not eating, drinking, not drinking. It is a difficult decision and it's surrounding us everywhere. So. Every time you say, oh, it's a one time, it's not gonna hurt me, it's gonna hurt you. And that thing that you eat, the alcohol and any sweets, any carbs, goes right to your belly. Your belly fat will accept it graciously and will not let it go. So that's number two. Well, it's number three. Low estrogen levels lead to belly fat. So no wonder my office is full of postmenopausal women trying to understand why they are gaining weight, although they have not changed anything in their life. And I don't blame them because when the estrogen levels go down, unfortunately, your body shifts the weight from your buttocks and from your thighs to your belly and sometimes the hormone replacement helps but most of the time even when you take hormone replacement most women will see an increase in the size of their abdominal area due to change in their life and number four the diet only will not get rid of the belly fat you have to exercise now a lot of people have tons of exercise excuses not to do exercise right but you have to if you're not doing cardio if you're not getting your heart rate up to 120 20, 130 for at least 30 minutes to an hour, that belly fat is not going to go away. So yes, you have to diet right, avoid all the bad carbohydrates, the sweets, the alcohol, but at the same time, you have to learn to make a priority to exercise every day, and especially the cardiac exercise to get rid of the belly fat. Now, number five is the cortisol. Now, cortisol is a stress hormone and unfortunately makes fat cells thrive, especially in that visceral area, in the abdominal area. So if you're stressed out, or if you just stress about everything, or if you just have a difficult life, you know, that's just not going to help you to get rid of the belly fat. So do some relaxation, do some yoga, do something that will relax you, and try to avoid stressful situations. That will definitely help you in the long run to avoid that belly fat. But number six, sometimes you cannot really beat genetics or actually pretty much never. You cannot beat your genetics. So if your mom was an apple shaped person, you know, if people in your family have significant abdominal obesity, sometimes it's just in your genes. And don't just be frustrated because everything you did I said, and you still didn't lose everything in your belly, you will lose it, but you may still retain some and that may be just simply genetics. And lastly, and most importantly, the added sugars. Now, most people think that they have a great diet, but they don't mind putting all sorts of ketchup on their food, for example. Well, these ketchups are full of added fructose and sugar that you may not be aware of. So every time you consume a food, try to make a habit of looking at 
the nutritional facts. Especially high fructose corn syrup is heavily used in the United States and in many developed countries as well. And there is great evidence that the fructose, especially those high fructose corn syrup, not the fructose from the fruits, but these processed fructose goes to your liver, gets trapped, and turns into fat immediately. So you need to make sure that you are staying away from everything that is processed that gets on your table. So guys, I hope this helps and I hope you liked this video. Give a thumbs up, share, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.